Hello, beautiful people out there. If you are looking at this video right now and you are going through something, just know everything is going to be okay. Listen to happy thoughts, happy affirmations. You're going to be all right, okay? If you're new to my channel, I'm Jay Away. Uh, please subscribe, click the bell. Uh, if you are watching and you haven't subscribed, I really appreciate if you subscribe and click the bell. You give me a thumbs up. And you share this video with your friends and your family because it really does help my channel. It, it really does, and I do appreciate that. So my question to you guys is, does it matter? Or should someone be forgiven? At least should someone be forgiven if, you know, they worked for someone that was deemed a narcissist, uh, that has like some psychological disorder, that is seen as a bully. You know, let's say you have children, you need to pay their bills, like for your family. Is 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 <clears throat> working for someone like a Donald Trump a a red flag? You know, even if you repent and say, hey, like this is what I did, this is what I wrong, because. You know, if we want to go for that narrative, then we can also say, well, people, uh, minorities, melanated people, people that work for him with NBC Apprentice, like this man's father and Trump, who also was involved in the real estate business, they have a history with discrimination uh, with African-American people. So should um, Lil John and should people like on uh Real Housewives like the uh, Claudia Jordans and the Omarosas and even Star Jones and all those other people that were on his shows when clearly his family had a history of racism. Should those people should also be ostracized as well? Because, I mean, they sort of work for Trump. I mean, NBC you know, um, had Celebrity Apprentice on the show and the former um, disgraced ex-CNN president, um, what's his name, Jeff Zucker, who was also the CEO of NBC, uh, used to be good friends with Donald Trump and kowtowed his his celebrity apprentice show. You know, and I call him disgrace because it's like, dude, you are supposed to be a president and then you're dating your subordinate and your subordinate used to work for Andrew Cuomo's um Andrew Cuomo's uh your subordinate worked with Andrew Cuomo and then it's like Chris Cuomo is, is working at CNN. So it's just that's why I call him, you know, disgrace. But anyways, let's watch this video together. During this very difficult time we're in. I believe we're in a very difficult time of global crisis right now and skyrocketing inflation. Former President Trump wants everyone to remember what's important. Buying him a new plane. <laughs> His PAC is crowdfunding for a brand new Jeez. Trump Force One. So a self-proclaimed billionaire wants his supporters to pay for his plane. They don't see, these people who are giving him money don't see the grift here? No. Do they not see it? No, what? because no. they believe in him. I was one of those people. And I mean, that's why I'm really, really, It's like really an invasion cool. of the body snatchers. Well, yeah. yes. And yeah. he's a taking, I mean, he's hawking a book right now and coins and doing everything he can to get paid by, by people who truly believe in him. And you know, that may seem odd to a lot of people, but a lot of people also contribute to YouTube channels that, you know, they believe in certain people like myself. They believe in other people that they follow. They believe in the fan base. But I'm not about to contribute twenty five hundred dollars to anybody. I don't care how good I think you are. You're not getting twenty five hundred dollars. Did y'all see twenty five hundred dollars as one of the options to contribute? No. And I want those people to know that he laughs at them behind closed doors. He that does. Tell he does. I, I believe that. I believe that for sure. I want people to know that. And I used to be there. I okay, but believe. Stephanie, I, you see, when I hear you talk about this, I need to ask you. So, please, for years you heard him do this, right? Laugh behind closed doors. So why did it take so long for you to find it so objectionable? I asked the same thing. Yeah, I did. I did cover this. Uh, because I mean, I just, I'm happy I, to do it again. I am the same too. thing. Well, I mean, I don't know, but it's, it's not just you, right? There's an entire. Yep. I mean, there's a, we, we can fill up an entire library right now of people who were there being accomplices and being. Right. By the way, where's Sarah Haynes? And this is actually a good format for the panel. Like the view knows what they're doing. The talent behind the scenes, they're smart, they're intelligent, and they know by having uh, Stephanie on because she used to be the former press secretary for Donald Trump who never did any press conferences, by the way. But, you know, for someone, to, for her to be on there with all this knowledge, they know what they're doing. And, and I firmly believe that they watch podcasters, YouTubers who talk about the show, specifically mine, and because it's like a lot of the audience that follows The View follows me. And I look at the comments on The View page and I see a lot of similar faces, similar comments. And so they're they're watching and they personally think that she's a good pick for this for this job because now she's anti-Trump, but and but she's a Republican at the same time. Meghan McCain, 
anti-Trump, supposedly, right? Um, because of her father, not because of not because of his policies, but because of her father. Um, and Meghan McCain was there for uh, four years, right? And so she could be the picking for the Republican chair. Should be? Would y'all recommend her? Let me know in the comments. No. Minions so, for well, four so years not to waste who are now. No, I don't think it's a waste of time. I think we pulled these certain right. explanations. I gave it. I gave it Tuesday, yeah. and I gave it Wednesday. I will give it again today. That is fine by me. I worked for Mrs. Trump. I moved to the West Wing. I saw things I hated. By that time, I wanted to leave, and I knew because of, I'm sorry, people like yourself who are so against me that I would not be able to get a job anywhere. I disagree. I don't. I don't think that it would have been hard for her to get a job if she spoke out. I think probably like people like CNN, MSNBC would have reached out. I think she would have done um, a good job with getting another job because the woman, Olivia Troy, who also was the aide for uh, Mike Pence with the uh, coronavirus task force, she spoke out to different platforms on television and she moved on with a different job. So I disagree with her. I disagree with her on that. I mean, I'm not fully I don't fully believe her with everything that she says um but i think that she's good for the show in terms of this type of entertainment i'm a single mom i have bills to pay i went back to mrs trump because i felt protected by her i felt like at least she did things anti-trump against her husband i figured i would just write it out and do the best i could afterwards then january 6 happened and i said hell no i'm done <coughs> sorry if i shouldn't have said that you can seven that. second that's all right um that's what happened. And I know it, it's hard to believe, but I believed in him and half the country believed in him. And I think that when you keep attacking me, you're attacking a lot of people out there who might want an off ramp. But and it, show, it shows that you And honestly, it's, for me, it's not about attacking you. For me, it's, atta it's about attacking and it's about holding accountable and all I the agree. people. And it's not just you. And I've said, right? I'm like sorry said. if I'm blue in the face, but I'm looking forward now and I'm trying to change it. And I will do everything I can to make sure he is not elected. But why should it? people believe you now? If they if you, because, if I'm telling, because I'm telling you. Anna, Anna playing no games, you know, Anna, Anna bringing that Floridian out in her, you know. And, um, the truth, I, this is not fun for me. I could be at home right now with my dogs and my family and my chickens. It is not fun for I me like to have, have every, chicken. I love my chickens, four of them. <laughs> but this isn't, this isn't fun I for like me. I like them in But wait a second, is it not possible for someone to see the light and change in your mind? Four years later? Well, it takes. I mean, it's you know, know after after no, no, there were good people on both later. sides. Yeah, after some, the way he treated I'll give some uh, immigrants, look, she after what be... he said about crim about Mexicans, after hearing the sexual assault boasts on tape, well, after seeing him make fun of a disabled reporter, you need four years. To well, get the scale I, you also don't know the things I stayed in there and stopped. But I, so I, you know, if we want to fight this out for the rest of this, I'm good to go. <laughs> but I'm sorry, I'm sorry, well, I and have I want. I don't know. Like, I don't think she should be chastised because she used to work for the former man. But it's like, I understand she said she worked two years. I don't know the uh, longevity of how long she worked for Donald Trump. I don't care. But I think people can change. I don't <clears throat> see this as a change for her. I see this as a job opportunity. And she's trying to um, excel in that and trying to take that seat, of course, you know, by spilling, by writing a book and spilling information about um, her time at the pre at the White House with Donald Trump. So I, I don't believe her per se, but again, I think she's good for the show in terms of these type of entertainment content, right? I question for both of you. ever elected again. I have a question well, listen, for both of you. Maybe for me it's a little second, personal Anna. because I, I took attacks for four years. You're right. From people who work okay, in that I White House. But you're part of the Republican I Party that. and so are you. Yes. Which is bizarre <laughs> to somebody like me. But you also got to understand Aaron Navarro, uh, who you know, is, is, has a husband who's a Republican and she calls herself a Republican and, you know, she's speaking out against, um, the Republican party that does a lot of to you. Like you feel like you're ostracized from your own party. Like, uh, for example, Jerry Kushner even, uh, called the CNN executives and they tried to get Aaron Navarro fired and even Van Jones and Van Jones just ended up being submissive and complied with the Jerry Kushners. And you just saw pictures of him with Jared and um, with um, what's his name that looked like Casper, I forget, the other Trump son and everything. I forgot his name. Um, and so I, I, I get where she's coming from. I, I do. But no, I, I think she's she's just trying to uh, repent for a job. I don't I don't think that she um, is doing this out of being moral in terms of in terms of Stephanie. If we're going to talk, if we're going to talk real, let's talk real. 
Why are you, as a Latina, still part of the Republican Party? Because I don't like this question. I don't. And why are you, having seen it firsthand, still part of the Republican Trump's Party? Trump's not the Republican Party. Is he not? He's no. not. Uh, he's let not me find my car. No, but I will answer you that. 80% of the voters, no, let me the answer Republicans, the, the, think he should let be. Let me answer the question you posed as yeah. a Latina. Yeah. I think the worst thing that can happen to a minority group mm -hmm. is to have one party take you for granted and think you're going to vote for them because they have no other option mm -hmm. and to have another party that openly attacks and antagonizes you. And it wasn't too long ago, mm -hmm. uh, it wasn't Jurassic Park, it wasn't dinosaurs roaming mm -hmm. the earth, when there were people like George W. Bush who came out and... George W. Bush, oh Jesus. And ...openly and publicly supported the Latino community and were able to get 44% of the vote. Mm -hmm. And so I hope that one day there are two healthy parties competing for our vote and earning our support, not taking one for granted you know, and antagonizing well, you know, the sunny, other. Sunny, that doesn't right. help And on anybody. that, I agree with Liz you. Liz Cheney Absolutely. is still a Republican. She's fighting mm -hmm. from within the party. Yes. It's important for people to fight within the party, don't you think? You know... I think that there's a time to cut bait. And I think when you have a party that is so sick and so divisive <laughs> and so harmful to this country, I think standing in that party makes okay. you complicit. All right, we have to. We, we have I, I, don't, I don't agree with that because you just cannot generalize the whole Republican Party. The media paints the Republican Party as one thing, but there's people outside of you that are are great minded that are um empathizing with other that are sympathizing with other people um that are good people you know they probably voted for trump for his policies they you know they probably know he's a crazy man but you know they voted for trump because they want a tax break and they voted for his policies right um and i'm not i can't just you know i didn't like the fact that she um was asking Anna Navarro as a Latina, why are you part of the, the Republican Party? As if the other party, the Democratic Party, is any better, right? You know, with Joe Biden, you have allegations with Tara Reid, uh, the former, um, the former uh, senator's uh, staffing aide that worked for Joe Biden in 1993, 1992, 1993, about uh, 29 years ago, that accused Joe Biden of, you know, sexually raping her. You know, you have Joe Biden's... Um, Involvement with the Iraqi war and him signing a bill with George W. Bush as a senator. You have Joe Biden also uh, working with segregationalists and also um, commending busing. So you have all of these levels of the same type of um, situations that Sonny Hulso is implying that Republican Party has uh, within the Democratic Party. So, you know, I just don't like the fact that um, when people want to defend their own party, they ridicule the opposite party as if their party is perfect because it's not perfect, right? It's not. I mean, this is why a lot of people went to the independent route, correct? Because um, they see that both sides aren't perfect. And so in my mentality, when you are defending your own party and, and chastising another party, your party is peaches and cream and tastes like strawberries. Your party is 100% angelic. Okay, that's how I view it, right? Um, and if it's not angelic, then you have some minor issues here and there about a Philly buster not being passed or something going on that, like something minor going on, not about someone who's president at the moment that uh, that dealt with busing and dealt with segregationists that had a crime bill that allegedly raped someone 29 years ago. Like, you just can't do that. You're not being honest with, with yourself and with the party that you're in, right? And so you just can't do that. You can't be divisive like that. You can't. But anyways, let me know what's in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe and click the bell. Please share this video with your friends and your family. Give me a thumbs up. Um, and let me know if you like this format a little bit better. And I'll see you guys later. Deuces! Yeah, yeah. All right, how to stop this?